Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1015. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1013 to 1016, click on the link below the video. Hey, um, so Control Shift Enter is a book that I've written. The uh, actual paperback is not out yet, but the ebook is already out and the DVD is already out. And PMSOCHO from YouTube is already downloaded and read up to chapter 11. Chapter 11, talk about AND and OR criteria. And he sent in an amazing formula for counting when you have OR criteria. Uh, not only that, but he. Uh, downloaded some of the files associated with the book and compared his formula to the ones I presented in the book and timed them. And uh, the formula he, which I'll show you in just a moment, uh, suggests we should use is faster calculating than any other ones. Now let me just show you. If you go and download, which of course it's the link below all, all my most of my videos, it just takes you to my college website and you can download the files and the files for this book are there. And check this out. If I uh, can show you in Windows Explore, uh, these are the files that you'll get. Actually, it comes in a folder called Files for Control Shift Enter. And all of the timing results. So in the book, I do lots of tests to see you know, whether one formula is much faster calculating for big data sets. And you can download all these and check them out. And so that's what he did. He downloaded this 11 OR criteria single column and then compared uh, a formula he was thinking about with the ones I presented in the book. I, so I want to show you uh, one formula. Then we'll look at one that in this in the book that is quite a bit slower. And then we'll look at this amazing new formula. Now, one great way to go anytime you have AND or OR criteria is our D functions. Now there's some limitations to D functions and I talk about them in the book. But in this case, we have a field name criteria below, a field name criteria below. So D function will work just fine. Now if we're counting text, we can use D counta. It needs a database, which means field names at the top and records in rows. Control Shift down arrow F4. And then the field name. I just happen to have the set up like this, a lot of times you do not, especially when you're copying D functions, you don't have field name and criteria um, as available as you copy. But in this case, we do. There's the field name. So as I copy it, it'll move and eat C manager each time. That tells the D function which column to go count upon. And then the criteria. Always have to have field name and the criteria below. Now, and and OR criteria. AND criteria is on different, always in the same row, but OR criteria, meaning I want to count Joe or Mo or Yin, is always listed one on top of each other on different rows. So that will work. Eight. And I can copy this over. All right, so that's one of the formulas that I show in the book. And it's kind of easy conceptually to understand. And um, one of the other formulas I show is this one right here. And it's just a lot longer calculating. It's about uh, twice as long in calculating than the formula that uh, from PMSOCHO. But l later, there are other times where this array calculation here with match is useful, particular for e particularly for extracting records. However, if you are counting with OR criteria, check this out. We want to look at the count if, our good old uh, reliable count if. I'm going to give it the whole range. All the managers, Control Shift down arrow, F4, and then comma. Normally, we put a single criteria, and count if will spit out a single number, counting that upon that criteria. But guess what? We're going to give it more than one item. This is called a function argument array operation. That argument's expecting a single value. We're giving it more than one. We're giving it three. What will it do? If you give it three, that means count it. You're instructing count if to spit out three answers. So if I highlight an F9, which is evaluate, no way. Two Joes, five Mo's, one Yin. We need to add these. Now, so we put it inside of some product. Some product, this criteria argument right here. We are making 
a function argument array operation, so the formula requires Control Shift Enter to calculate, but no problem. If you put in uh, an array operation that's not inside the if function, inside this argument right here, that argument is programmed to handle array operations without using the special keystroke Control Shift Enter. Now, one other thing before we see how this works, count if. Sum if, average if, they've been around forever, and everyone knows that the range argument cannot handle array operations. It just is not programmed to do that. But the criteria argument has no problem. I talk about all that stuff in the book there, except for I wish I had put this formula in, because check it out. Absolutely amazing for counting with OR criteria. So PMSOCHO, he has a YouTube channel. You should go check out his videos. All right, we'll see you next video.